So there are two issues that I see when people first start trying out zone two training. The first one is they try to do too much too soon. They either increase their mileage or they increase their time too quickly. For example, if you use the zone two calculator and you decide that you want to do 180 minutes of zone two training, which equates to three hours per week of zone two training, don't just jump right in if you haven't been doing a lot of exercise. Give yourself between four to six weeks to work yourself up to that goal. The second problem that I see is that people will not warm their body up because they assume that zone two training is, is low level, low impact, steady state, that by itself it's kind of a warm up, but this isn't true. The biggest benefit from zone two training is in the amount of time that you can do the exercise, right? The total duration of time that you can do the exercise, that's where the benefit is. And it doesn't matter if you're highly trained or if you're just getting started, you have to warm your body up. So in this next portion, I'll show you how. Our first warm up exercise is a dynamic swing to the front and to the rear. Try turning your head in the opposite direction to get the spine involved as well. And then we'll transition to a lateral swing. Just imagine that the foot is like a pendulum swinging back and forth, warming up the hips. You don't need to get too high on this. Don't push too hard. And then we're gonna do some dynamic squats, which means that once you get down to the bottom, just bounce a few times very lightly before coming up, warming up the hips, ankles, and knees. Next, we're gonna warm up the spine by doing some spinal twists. So the key here is when you twist to the left and to the right, try to go a little bit further with each pulse. And then we'll do some dynamic hops, little hops, not too high. Imagine that you're skipping rope. And the reason this is important is because the ankles and the feet act like shock absorbers during almost all cardio exercise. And then we'll end with a crossover hamstring stretch. Don't forget to get both sides. Okay, now you're ready to start easing into your exercise. So it doesn't matter if you're running, jogging, cycling, doesn't matter. Just start slow. Go for about five minutes at a slow pace. Work on form. Keep your body relaxed. And enjoy yourself. Click the link below for a free Zone 2 training guide and a Zone 2 heart rate calculator. And don't forget to like and subscribe.